What's going on, everybody? It's Pac-Man Jones with Savannah Seaport News. Now, on November the 19th, Savannah, Georgia will be hosting the 7th Annual Hood Awards that will be hosted at the Ali Temple. Um, if you want to go there, feel, please feel free to go there. Uh, this is not a promotional video at all. I just want to talk about who is nominated in these categories and pretty much who got snuff as far as the best male artist. Now, let me just show y'all the list of all the people that's nominated. Again, if you want to go and vote, I have a link in the description that y'all can uh, click and it'll take y'all straight to the list if y'all want to vote on who's the best out of these categories. Now, the Hood Awards got some very interesting uh, categories. Some of them are considerable, others are insignificant. I've seen some for the most popular female and the best exotic dancer. I've seen some for uh, the best dress. I mean, some of them are just insignificant, but the others that I've seen on here are considerable, like uh, the best promoter, uh, the best male and female R&B artists, they have a, a best uh, tattoo artists, they have the best barbecue spot, they also have one for the best car wash, best producer, uh, even something for uh, the kickball coaches, the best kickball coach, uh, best female artists, and to top it all off, the best male artists of Savannah, Georgia. Now. As you can look at that list of the best male artists, there's a lot of people on this list. Um, some of you, some of them you've seen on my uh, Savannah Artist series when I was doing that. Uh, you know, like Coach Prophet, Chuck Raw, Clay Hodges, uh, other people that I've covered. Uh, Mac Mac Mall, he was in that interview with uh, Coach Prophet. Caution, he was in that interview as well. Uh, Young Damon, I covered him. Uh, Meezy, I did a reaction video to his uh, latest video he had. Uh, La Skrilla, um, I covered him. Uh, there's some other people on this list that I haven't covered, but I'm familiar with some of those people on that list that I haven't covered, but there's some people on this list that I have no idea that they were rappers. You know, some of them, I had no idea. They even have a freaking music video, uh, you know, and that's the thing where I kind of like slowed down on... Uh, covering artists because a lot of them don't have music videos and it's and it's like I can only cover you if I have a visual on you you know what I'm saying and some of these guys I'm pretty sure they don't, don't even have a music video maybe they're just rapping I'm not sure but um uh, the, people are upset because of people who should have been on that list that were forgotten I mean looking at this list I can tell y'all man like there's a lot of people that were left out that I've covered that I felt that should be on that list, you know. And, um, you know, Clay Hodges is on this list, too. And for my people that know Clay Hodges, Clay Hodges is one of the first artists, or one of the first few artists that I covered when I first started uh, covering Savannah Artists. And what he said about it was, the Hood Awards is just another example of how disconnected the hip-hop community is in Savannah. No diss to the organizers of the event. I know how hard it is to plan out concerts, let alone a whole award show, but I definitely feel like it could be more diverse. But then again, maybe it's supposed to be that way. It is the Hood Awards, of course. Maybe they wanted to highlight a specific sound. I don't know. I just wish we weren't so disconnected. Connect Savannah has their top list, then there's the Hood Awards, which there was inclusive middle. Uh, I feel what Clay Hodges is saying, man, you know, for you just to name it the Hood Awards, even though this has been running for seven years, you know, it does seem like off that title, you're not being diverse with that. You just want a specific you know sound of you know hood rappers people that's in the urban environment and you know i can't speak on how clay was you know brought up or whatever like that but i do feel like where he's coming from but i know this not coming out of a uh, spite that he wasn't on the list because he's on the list i just feel like maybe he's speaking up for other people that he feel that should be on the list because he does rep with a lot of other people in savannah and um you know a lot of people are, are, are left out, man. I, I can name a few others that I've covered, man. 
uh, like freaking Hell Winslow's good, uh, Joshy Luciano's good, man, uh, freaking Fat Boy Zerk is dope, I mean, AJ is, you know, dope too, I mean, come on, I mean, the artist Little Bruh, uh, Spitta, I mean, there's so many other guys, I mean, King Woe, uh, man, uh, Wayne Grow. Uh, man, I, I mean, I don't even want to forget anybody else's name. I'm just trying to think of all the other artists. Uh, man, Dope Knife. Uh, man, uh, just so many other artists, man, that uh, felt that they were really left out. And it's, uh, you know, even though they did their best trying to get all these people uh, in the categories to their best ability, because, you know, I covered, I did a list last year of the top artists of 2016 and I had got in an argument with somebody from um, I ain't gonna say his name but he's pretty popular he signed to somebody to the west coast and he got mad that I didn't say his name in the list and you know I didn't think anybody would take my list that seriously because I was just starting off on YouTube and he ended up seeing the video and freaking you know we you know exchanged words on the internet but he took down his uh his comments so you know a lot of people just get mad because people want to be notarized they want to have some recognition for what they done as far as being an artist you know and that's pretty tough man but to the people and the artists that felt offended because they weren't nominated on that list i'll just say to them uh just keep grinding man you never know where your talent will reach out to in the next few years man if you just stay dedicated you know i know the savannah scene is really cutthroat as far as being the artist man it's a tough scene a lot of artists that i covered last year uh giving up you know some of them just want to be attention seek seekers on facebook you know some of them have a uh, normal job some of them are dedicated to their craft 24 7 non-stop some of them don't have jobs some of them just are dedicated to their craft 24 7 and uh you know just don't give up man you know you never know where you'll be at in the next few years off of your talent and everybody wants to be number one but everybody can't be number one at the same time there's some people that are just better than others and whenever november the 19th comes and whoever wins the best male artist or best whatever category comes you know let it all be with the fun and celebration let not anyone be envious of each other because somebody won something and that other person just felt so butthurt that they didn't win so you know i don't want to see anybody you know hate and or just just be envious that they didn't win or get nominated you know because when next year comes around you know you never know where you'll be at you might be the one that's chosen so that's all for right now actually that's not it I'm fucking mad. I didn't get nominated for nothing. Because you know what? I cover the hood. I cover crime. I cover artists. I don't get no nomination. Not one. That's fucked up, man. Throw me on the list. Throw me on the category of best local uh, YouTuber in Savannah. I mean, at least throw that on there. I might be the only one on the list, though. But, um, hey, I'll take that win by default. But that's all for right now. It's Pac-Man Jones with Savannah Seaport News, and I'm out.